Hello Libra and happy birthday. Welcome to your general reading for October 2024. If you just found my channel, welcome and thank you for being here. For those of you returning, happy to have you back. Libra, um, when meditating on your energy, I saw um, an interesting vision. You know how when you're driving down the road and it's really hot out and it creates kind of a mirage on the road? I saw a mirage and of course, you know, as you get closer to it, it disappears. It wasn't there. I heard something is on its way to you. It certainly could be news, information, a person. Um, you don't see this coming. And I heard what you learn is going to set off a chain of events, like one thing's going to lead to another. It could be, um, you know, a conclusion you reach because perhaps this is informational, but whatever it is, Spirit's early advice in this reading, I just saw 111, is it's important to have utter clarity about whatever this is or maybe before making a decision to get all the facts. That's what came through. So Libra, let's take a look at what is it that's presenting for you? Let's get some overarching energies. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. New beginnings, a beginning of a new cycle. That baby was cute. <laughs> Appreciation. Nice energy. All right, let's see what we have for you, Libra, for October. What do you have for the sign of Libra, Spirit? Okay, we have walking away. Hmm, four cards. We have door to value, journey, the world, and loss. Okay, they apply. I heard they apply. All right. Ooh. Bottom of the deck, appreciation, loving woman, thinking woman, new beginnings. Look at that. Okay, Libra, it, it feels like you are in a situation um, where you are going to be, um, I, I, this is interesting because I'm, I'm hearing the benefactor. You are going to receive something. It could be something related to a job. It could be something related to, you know, a financial windfall. Look at the money flying everywhere. There's something that you are receiving and whatever it is, it sets something else in motion. And it could literally be like, you know, I, the, the mirage was on a road. It could be that you are, um, you know, having a visitor, you're going to visit someone. It, it feels to me like it puts a plan into motion. And for whatever reason, I'm feeling like the, the whatever you are leaving behind has something to do with what you learn. And I, and I don't, I can't quite put my finger on the energy. It's probably going to play out a little differently for all of you. You may find out about um, something that someone else has been through. For someone out there, I just got this, for someone out there, you hear about um, someone's passing. I'm, I'm just going to say that. And perhaps what information comes to you or what maybe blessing comes out of that. It could be a financial blessing for you. That, that, that may just be for one person. Whatever it is that you will be experiencing, it is going to set off another chain of events. And I feel like, you know, whether this is a trip you take or, or a, a journey metaphorically, I feel like whatever is before you and the world is like the world is your oyster. That is the meaning of this card. Like, go for it. Do it. Um, you're going to pause. You're going to stand at the, the threshold of whatever change is happening. And you're really going to think about um, maybe what you sacrificed to do something new. 
um, the sacrifice someone else had to make in order to, you know, I don't know, bring you a blessing if that's what this is or news that comes to you that you're like, whoa, this is so big. What do I even do with this? I don't know where you stand in the scheme of this. So let's just take a look at what is unfolding for you and we'll piece this together. The Ten of Wands. You could be coming to the end of a rather difficult cycle. There's that sun, that new beginning energy. Something opens up for you. A door opens, perhaps. This could even be job-related. And maybe you're like, oh, that, that sounds so tempting, but I need to make a heck of a sacrifice. I just saw 555 in order to do this. Maybe for some of you, it's, it's taking a position, you know, in another state, country, province, you know, whatever, whatever applies for you. Okay, so let's see what's playing out. The Knight of Wands. Maybe this, this is someone offering you something that on the surface it's like ooh this is really exciting maybe you have to make a, a quick decision knight of swords something that okay i'm getting a message sorry there could be a time constraint around whatever this is and you may need to, you know, fairly quickly decide what you need to do. But I, I think that this is about information gathering. Whatever you're going to do, you need to, you, you can't act rashly. Have total clarity before you do this. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. Justice, wow. Could be something legal. The King of Cups could be a relationship. Strong emotions, whatever this is, I'm, I'm feeling it, strong emotions. Okay, fool, yeah. And, and again, this, is, this could be a new beginning that presents itself, but you're like, okay, I just, can you tell me a little bit more about this? That's kind of what I'm feeling. The emperor, the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. Temperance, yes. This is spirit saying, take your time, take your time, settle your energies, make sure that you gather information about this Eight of Wands. Maybe, you know, learn more, communicate before you act on this. This could be a boss energy. It could be that there is something that um, maybe requires your participation or some sort of interaction and you're like, can I just kind of think about this? I feel like in this regard, the emperor could be, yeah, I'm just going to hold back for a bit. I, I, need to, I need to kind of study this situation. Let's get some clarity. <laughs> Always. Knight of Wands, what is this? This could be someone. If this is a, a person saying, you know, listen, I'm... I'm, I'm coming to see you. I'm back in your life. I care about you. Do you care about me? Um, let's make a go of this. Let's, let's start again. Let's start a life together. And, um, you know, maybe they're on the heels of a breakup. And you're, you might be questioning, uh, is, you know, do you need to maybe not go there so quickly? Should you think about this? Maybe I need to. I just saw 911. Yeah, think about it. Think about it. You might have history with this person and you're assessing the past. Knight of Wands. What is that? Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. With the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I, you know, I hope this isn't some like... <laughs> um. I don't know, like some, some kind of scheme. And you're like, uh, you know, if, if this is disguised as one thing and it's kind of too good to be true, I don't know, like ask questions. Knight of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. 
Knight of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, communication coming to you. It, it could be something that will force a decision. It may pivot you in a new direction. You may have even been waiting for this, but but I, I'm, I'm kind of getting, you know, don't be rushed. Like take some time to just say, ooh, okay, well, thank you for that. It's food for thought. Let me think about it. If it's a job, the money could look really good. Maybe they say, you know, if you act now, it sounds like a freaking infomercial, but wait, you know, if you act within the next 20 minutes, we're going to up the ante. It looks really good. And you're like, hmm, hmm. Knight of Swords, Ace of Cups, Justice. I want to know what that Ace of Swords is. The Six of Cups in reverse. Okay. Um, Queen of Wands. I just saw 1111. It feels like um, a restart in a relationship. It could be that this is someone you know, have been involved with, um, someone who's had, uh, you know, perhaps a difficult past and they're trying to get through this. If this is a relationship with someone who's coming, you know, back into your life, they've kind of been through it. If you're moving on from something because you've been through it, take your time. I, I feel like there's something about this Six of Cups in reverse that um, maybe requires some ironing out. Could be about a lover. Four of Pentacles. Four of Wands Tower. Are you going to learn about a secret lover? I don't know. <laughs> Let's look at the Queen and King of Cups together. What is the energy of this duo? Queen and King of Cups. The Fool. I just heard taking a chance on me, whoever me is. Could be you, could be them. Queen and King of Cups. Wow. Whoa. We have Two of Swords, and then we have a, the card of the mind with towers going off. There is a lot of confusion. There's a lot of confusion. Again, something on its way is on its way to you. You don't see it coming. Get clarity. I f Why do I feel like this is a rushed decision or pressure? Okay, let's look at the emperor. This could be your energy, like saying, whoa, wait a minute. Um, we have abundance. What is that? Um, three of cups, sorry, at the bottom of the deck. What's this abundance energy? It could be a job offer. Do you trust it? Seven of swords. Does it have, does it align with you? You know, I'm, the seven of swords is what it is. And, and it, it can be um, something you may not trust. It can be the actions or intentions of another that are a little sly, not quite on the up and up. Is it about money? Is it a job offer that is too good to be true? What else? The Emperor Abundance, the Seven of Swords. And it, it could be that this was some sort of um, influence on the decision being made now. It could be that someone is dealing with a, uh, a, a sneaky, I don't know, boss, partner, something. And that informs the future, which is, uh, let's, let's just pause on that for a second. Okay, we have the two of wands and the seven of pentacles. Something is playing out and it's going to take some time. And I feel like the only way to know if this is worth, you know, taking that risk or making this big decision is to look at this like 10,000 foot view, right? Eyes of the eagle. And it feels to me like this is clarity. Clarity comes with that emperor. Intensity beyond illusion. 
guidance. We are the world fighting, clinging to the past. Okay, so let's take a look at what, what's on proposal here. What are you being offered? The King of Swords, the Six of Wands. The Eight of Wands, Six of Cups upright. What are you being offered? <laughs> it's obscure. Why am I getting that there is some sort of um, and I don't know who it is, but as an energy, I'm looking at the King of Swords and the Six of Wands, and it's like um, someone who knows exactly what they're saying and what they're doing, communication. But it's not clear. And, and I don't know if this is like, it looks good on the surface. Maybe it's someone who looks good on the surface and it raises more questions than it answers. So learning something. Wow. And beneath that, we have the Ace of Swords. Pay attention to what is said, how it's said, or what is offered and, and the construct of that offer. What's on its way to you? Um, hopefully something that is tangible. It could be an opportunity and you're like, ooh, this looks really good. But oh, wait, wait. Uh, this is really bizarre. It's kind of obscure, but I, I mean, I get it. Um, this, when I was shuffling, I, put, I had this deck to the side. And as I shuffled and these cards came out, this flipped up. If, if this is something that you need time to think about or causes more confusion than it clears up, think about that, Libra. Um, let's take a look at the decision you're making and what you need to know about it. This is kind of interesting because I feel like it puts other things in motion, but it also requires that you let some things go. It, and again, it could be like a job. It could be something kind of big that forces, you know, a move or a really big decision. But you're like, something about this is just, you know, I kind of need to think about this. Okay, so what is the, what is the decision, the offer, and what do you need to know about it? It's going to require action on your part. Be observant. Take a look at something at a, at a much deeper level. Keep a watchful eye. Yes, it came out. Breathe. Take some time. Don't be rushed into any kind of decision. A leg up. Be flexible. There may be some things you have to, you know, wiggle around, move around in your schedule. I, I'm feeling like, I don't know what direction this goes, but a leg up feels to me like, um, I don't know, I'm offering this, but maybe there's like a string, strings attached energy to this. What is that? Strings attached. Is there anything to that spirit? Okay, we have regeneration. This is sticking out of the deck. Chaos and conflict. I won't take it, but bottom of the deck. Exchanging gifts. If I do this, I get that in return. And, and I think you need to know the ins and outs. If it's a contract, Libra, what are you signing up for? Is it? Is it on the up and up? Anything else? What do you need to know? Well, flexible wanted to come out. Okay, this is weird. I was just shown a vision of like a, a garage sale where one person is kind of manning the, you know, manning the fort. And there's a crowd of people who come in and 
and they cause utter confusion while other people grab merchandise and just walk down the driveway. That was weird. I, I, I'm going to just let you marinate on that if it's something that you are like, oh God. Like a, I don't know, bait and switch. Is it real? Is it, is there, are there strings attached? I want one more for strings attached. The offer and are there strings attached? Okay. We have milk and honey and serendipity. And there's one on the floor. Truth be told, and I picked it up in reverse. Just do your homework. Ask the right questions. We have poised, blessed, soulmates, not for you. Wow. What is that? Time for a nap. Take a break from this. Pull back from this. Think about it. Let's get some other energies for you. You're the birthday babies. I'm going into a little more detail for you. <laughs> Guided soul. Anything else for Libra? Anything else for Libra? Okay. I mean, your desires are manifesting. You are co-creating with spirit. Answered prayers. Revelation is beneath that. Those are bottom of the deck energies. An important truth is coming to light. All right. Weathering the storm. Strength and resilience are being tested. Are you willing to stick it out? Coming back around. The past is not done. There's a reason you're revisiting this. Duality. Contemplate what draws you in and what pushes you away. This is that learn more. Have all the facts. And life change. Life is about to shift in profound ways. Um, I'm feeling one of these major life events cards just to clarify that. What does Libra need to know about this energy? Move or relocation? Recognition. So journey, the world, could literally be something regarding um, walking away. Recognition, money matters, sense of urgency. This is, this is the part that gave me pause in the reading. So just think about that. You don't need to be rushed into anything. A blast from the past family ma ma matters. The wait is over. Anything else? Life change. Legal matters. King of Swords could be something related to, you know, wise counsel, an attorney, um, a will that was maybe just for one of you. Anything else? Meeting a new romantic interest. And I'm hearing that could have been the Queen of Wands energy that we saw earlier. Thrown a curveball. Oh boy. <laughs> Libra. All right. Um, I I'm, I'm going to sit with this. I have a feeling that there's a continuation of this story. And if I do, the link will be uh, in the box below. Members, as you know, all extendeds are part of your membership. So have at it if the link is in your playlist. Libra, um, good luck with this. I'm, I'm probably going to extend it and we're going to look at what is it that you need to know about what's on offer for you and um, look at the players, the people, and I don't mean that literally, like the characters who are part of this scenario. Is this an act of generosity? Is it, you know, some sort of, um, you know, life-changing money coming your way? Job offer? How does that look? Is it a good decision? So we're going to focus on those energies. All right, I'll leave it there, Libra. I hope this is helpful. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.